At this time for entertainment MSG is here, and I'm here with her today. I got my angel. I got my angel. Yep, yep, hey, yep, 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 yesterday, yep. You, like, you just brown me like that. You show me. <laughs> anyway, but it's good to have you here. Yeah. And you know that Caucasus is trending. Now, mm -hmm. who doesn't know Caucasus mm -hmm. is trending? Mm -hmm. Caucasus is trending. You know, in 2015, if we've forgotten, uh, Caucasus was in Kumasi. Yeah. He was arrested for allegedly smoking in public. Now, who would think that Kwa, after going around prisons, trying to you know teach people to be of good behavior, encourage them? In that encounter, after all that encounter, you know, you going to the can prisons. boldly tell Doreen and that I still smoke, and I know people in Parliament who smoke. <laughs> Reminds me of Black Rasta, but let's see that video. <laughs> yeah, I still smoke, and um, I, I, the you, thing yeah, is, the, you, you I still, still smoke, smoke. Yeah. weed. I still smoke. I won't say no, whatever. No, you I still is. smoke weed. I, Listen, b before I got I got arrested, you know, I, I was doing music, mm -hmm. you know, to please people. Right. I was, you know, spoiling every stage, which I still do. And I was smoking weed doing that, mm -hmm. you know. So I don't want people to be like, oh, because he got arrested, you know, he stopped what he's doing. No, then I have to stop music. I still smoke weed and I'm not, you know, I used to be hiding it. Now I want the world to know that. Hey, listen, we have artists. Yesterday I was watching Wizkid who was holding weed on stage. But you know it's not Le allowed on stage. Listen. Uh, yes, I'm listening. A lot of people root for the guy. Uh -huh. I know a lot of artists who smoke. Nobody cares. Why is it because Kwakesi says he's a bodam and he's caught smoking weed? No, me, I'm not, I don't care. I smoke. And the police know I smoke. Uh, uh, um, listen, <laughs> if they, they, they see me holding it and they will arrest me, can they arrest me when the thing is in my eyes? Uh, well, well you, you went to jail for it. So uh, it the, the thing is, mm -hmm. it was, the decision was, was a wrong decision. Listen it was a, a which part of from, it was from a wrong the, decision? From the part of the police. This is a police. It was man. a wrong decision for them to take you to jail, or they, it, it, was it was a wrong was decision a, for them to pick you up. It was a wrong decision to arrest me for for doing me. Yes. And so it was an offense. And prob and it's not probably, it, but it that's why because the law the, frowns the, upon the it. The law was passed by a human being. <laughs> so you and you you so went that against the, the law. No, the, the person who passed the law that time mm -hmm. didn't have, you know the. Was was forced to pass a law. Who, Listen, who, this. Who told you who, that who, the who, person who, who passed who the law? Passed was the law. Pass. What happened before they passed the law? Yes, you tell me. They passed the law because somebody said it was no good. The person who, who was said the it was. Who was the person we who were, said that? Listen, you were who? Who said it was not good? Before the white men came to <laughs> rule us, we were us. Uh -huh. We were doing us. Yes. Okay, but the white, white man, man uh -huh. came and said uh -huh. it is no good. Uh -huh. The same white man now is legalizing it in his country. Well, but, but that's the white man. But now you are independent, and so you should be able to make decisions for yourself. And it's good for me, independently. I what think makes you think that is good for you? You have three people, I've, I've, actually four people, yeah. plus your siblings and your mother who depend on you. Yeah. If you were to lose it right let, now, let, let what me would they Let do? me tell you. Let me tell you. Tell me. I just said I, I still take it. Uh -huh. Am I off? I'm not saying that you're <laughs> off. I'm saying I'm that coming. I'm a, listen. Look, okay. I know. I know somebody. I won't mention their names, but I know no, some not, people. No, no, we are in, not mentioning people's names. Though. We are having, I know no, some people in we parliament are not going who to smoke. Parliament. No, we're I know, dealing with you I know, and I here. I know, it's me and you. I know a doctor who smoked weed. Uh -huh. You see, and he still performs all right. You see. Oh, that's uh, back and forth with Caucasy. Uh, but I pray he doesn't get invited to Parliament to answer because same happened with Black Rasta. He said 80% of uh, parliamentarians smoke. Right, this one, he said, I know some people. Okay, so maybe you might have to come tell us which people in Parliament smoke. Well, away from that, there's also a very worrying story. Now, first of all, let's see this video and let's check how many of you can remember the man behind this video. Fuck. 
to follow this guess. You not a thing that takes that. You see them all the whole way, they play guitar before. You get one is to spread this guess. You do say I want before to follow this guess. Now that song is called uh, Vera and um, it was put together by Black Sam. Okay, and um, the two of the defunct prior members, so that's uh, uh, prior Honeyho and prior Tietia. Okay. So the song is titled A Cinevera. Now, Black Sam has gone mad. Like, he's not well. Oh, really? Yes. So we discovered, yes, we've heard that people say that he's on the streets, he's not well. Is that he smoked weed or something? Well, we don't know what exactly the issue is, but we realized today that uh, Chris Wado, who is another musician, met up with him and they had a conversation. So that's Black that's, Sam. That's terrible. Very terrible. And the first time I heard of him um, was when uh, Pope Skinny said that he said first that he had seen him on the street and he felt all was not well. That was like last year or so. And we didn't take that story seriously until uh, Chris Waldo shows up today uh, with this one on his uh, social media. So we're hoping that, you know, people will come to his aid and he can see yeah, what... They can see, yeah, yeah, how they can rehabilitate him. Exactly. So away from that, last night, uh, Kaki uh, sparked some controversy. She went to an Instagram page and here's what she posted. Let's see a picture of Kaki and all that she had to say. Now she talked about the fact that... Well, know, she ain't nude. Uh, okay, so let's see. She says, uh, hi. Greetings to everyone here. I'm sure it has come to your note, the notice of everyone that I have been silent for some time now. I wish to inform you all respectfully that as from today, I'm no longer a member and an artist which work under the um, XLM. Uh, that's a large, um, extra large music. That's okay. the full name. Okay, we, so we have worked together for all these years and together we gave you my dear fans good music. It has been hard for me to break the news to you, but today I am no more an artist and XLM. Hence, XLM do not represent Kaki anymore. And for my fans on Facebook and Twitter, I wish to inform you that the pages are not handled or managed by me. If there is anything I would want you, my dear fans, to know, I will put it here, which means on Instagram. Uh, my In due time, my new Facebook fan page will be known to you all. Thank you so for that. So what is happening? Okay, so she left the extra large music label and we thought that, okay, that was it. And then this evening, Xylophone puts this up. Okay. So New that's World. Xylophone New World. Kaki G. Uh -huh. Okay. So it means that Kaki has been signed on to the Xylophone brand. She has not posted, like she told us, on her Instagram page. Neither has she denied this post by Xylophone. Okay. So it means that she becomes the first dancehall female artist to be signed on because we already have Stoneboy, Stone who is a dancehall artist. So that's the latest uh, in the world of entertainment, uh, including this picture that sparked a lot of controversy yesterday. And so this is a Nigerian by name, I Slimberg, is Juliette Ibrahim's new boyfriend. He's in Nigeria with him. So it was his birthday yesterday. He posted this picture on social media. A lot of people were offended. He had to pull it down to say this is not respectful at all. This is a disrespect to Juliet Ibrahim. She's not spoken but about is it. Is Juliet Ibrahim complaining? She's not spoken about it, but uh, Iceland Beg has dropped the picture. So that'll be it.
for entertainment today. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ms. G. That's it for Entertainment Africa's Radio Sports.